how it feels to chew five gum. Okay, well, <laughs> let's just put what just happened there aside, because somebody requested that I did that. But, um, I'm back with another video, and one and a half days later than I should have, but, yeah, the division's just very fun for me right now. But, um, this video has a total of ten spots. One I don't show. Um, one I don't show me getting into, I should say. But I show how to do it. It's really frustrated me while I'm trying to do the video. But for this one, what you want to do is have a teammate prone right there. And then you just want to run on their face to try to get onto the shield. And you want to have somebody there. And you're just going to want to run into this. You could also do this on the other side of the cabinet. Like, on the opposite side of this area. But uh, if you want to get into this one, as you can see, it looks a little burnt. Because Cav had to blow up in the thing that was controlling it and almighty but you can place your ADS's up here but uh, you'd probably want to play up here as Cav but uh, this next one I know there's another spot like it but I actually like this one a lot more because it's in more of a convenient spot uh, so what you basically do is that and then you have this floating little area you could sit on. I like this area, but you don't have to use two people for this. You can only, you could use one, but for that part right there that I just did, you need two. But if you want to spend a lot of time trying to get up here, then you need one other person. Like, it, it's harder to do if you have one other person helping you, but if you have two other people helping you, it would be better to do. So like, if the objective was in here, that would make more sense. But, this next spot that I'm going to show is the spot that I don't actually show me getting into, so if you want to skip past that, I think this clip's only about 20 seconds. But um, you just want to run onto your teammate like so, and crouch, and then you want to get on here. You want to run and prone, walk and prone onto your teammate's head. But I fell off, just like all the other times I tried it, except for a few of the times. A few of the, the few times that I have done it... I I just wasn't recording, because I was trying to make sure that it worked, but I, I honestly should have been recording, but it would have taken a lot of time, but for this one, I like these ones, because these ones are easy to do, plus they could actually really help you in rank, because of the peaks that they give you. This one, you could peek this little hole here, but I don't see that hole being too useful. The only thing that would be useful would be this angle, but there's an even better angle on the other side of this. So you get that peak right there, and nobody would see you unless there was a glass. But here's the one that I was talking about that was better. If you run onto your teammate's face... Oh, I fell off. Okay, let's just do that again. So vault on, like so. And then crouch onto this, and then go onto your teammate's face, and then just push your way up there. This one gives you an amazing angle over there. If you had an ACOG, it'd be even better. And then you have an even better angle this direction, because if you didn't have that giant impact there, and just had a shotgun hole or a pistol hole there, it'd be, like, great. <laughs> it would take this to a whole new level. This next one that I'm going to show also has some great things to it. It's right there where, I'm, where I just pinged. So, you want to get on like so. Use a teammate if you prefer. But that, that's just how I preferred to do it. And you don't, you can't really see too much that direction unless you go prone. But in this direction you could see more just from crouching. I don't like this one so as much as the others. But uh, the next one that I'm going to show is also in this room. So if you want to skip that one, I think the next clip's like 30 seconds. This one, you want to have your setup just like mine. You want to get on like that. And I fail, and I'm going to fail another two times because I'm just that smart. Oh, apparently I spoke wrong. Okay. But this one, you could see onto the stairs. So I actually like this one because you could see most of the stairs, actually. And then this one, you could see onto the doorway. 
and nobody would be looking over at you from this specific angle if you created just a few kill holes in the wall to make it look not so suspicious. But these next um, few are in the cockpit, and if you're not really interested in cockpit spots, then just end the video here. Because I'm, I'm showing three or four cockpit spots, and then I show one for Michael Myers. But um, yeah, you just want to do what you see me doing, run on top of your teammates, and you just want to cr crouch while you're on the crouching teammate. And you're pretty much invisible to people entering the door. I'm going to show that in a next game clip, I think. I hope I show it. Yeah, I do show it. But they uh, they can shoot you from through the headrest, but they can't shoot you through the seat. They can't shoot you through the seat, but they can shoot you through the headrest, so you just got to keep that in mind. But if you were to go onto a Valk cam, you see I'm completely invisible. And I'm just going to flip to this next camera. Yeah, it's pretty hard to see out there, since it's a camera, but still, you're pretty invisible. But, um... Let's just put on an act for a minute. Boom. Jump. Oh, bang, bang, bang. Oh, he's dead. Wow. Oh, I wonder where Valkyrie is. Oh, wait, what is that? I've been shot already? Oh. Okay, I'm going to show you how to get out of this one. This one's actually pretty easy. This one's the easiest out of most of them, I think. You just have to run on the teammate as so. And you could hide in the corner. But if you saw from that act that I put on earlier, that's how the average and pro league player would enter a room like this. I don't know if a pro league PC player would do that, because their reaction time's a lot faster, so they would end up seeing you because they would look a lot more. But this is the Michael Myers spot that I was talking about. And uh, it's pretty easy to do so. If you want to be that one dickhead in Michael Myers that goes outside, I wouldn't recommend you do this one because this one's the terrible. There's so much more better ones you could do outside. But, um, yeah, I guess if you don't want to use a shield, you can do this one. But, uh, maybe there's a. No, no, never mind. No, you can't get up there from this edge. So I think it's just the one area that I, you saw me get onto, but. So, yeah, that's gonna be the video. I just gotta say thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support I've been receiving. And if I continue to receive at least a moderate amount of support, I'm gonna continue making these videos because it makes me feel nice. So, thanks all.